My name is Alexis Peskin, I'm a visual artist. Grew up in France. My father is French and Russian, and my mother is from Brazil. I came to um, the United States to uh, play basketball at first and do uh, art, and <laughs> later I uh, stopped playing basketball. And when I came to New York, um, um, I was looking for a place to create work and for shows as well. And um, um, and I remember like I didn't have like much money when I came here, and I uh, was looking for a cheap place to to rent to create. After I came and wasn't able to find studios, uh, I ran into Eric um, um, in Hoboken, and um, he asked me. I remember he, I I told him about my project because I had like a, a show that was uh, lined up, and um, he uh, he asked me like how much space I needed. That was like you know even like two meters square, anything, and um, and then um, he said yeah, you can come here for free, and uh, he gave me the keys. I was working at night, even daytime, and uh, a lot of his people even taught me things, and it was perfect. Kissy reference is power figures, uh, figures that protect you, and yeah. so there's strength. I think there's a little bit of both as far as like power and aggression, because like when you look at the piece, it's like all these nails, like as a whole, when you see all of them and that actually it forms a face or whatever, like I think it's strong, so it kind of like yeah. gives the idea of power. Then like if you look at uh, the piece also like in, in the back, then you see kind of the kind of the aggression, like you know. Yeah, oh wow. Yeah, I'm like starting to show more and more the back of my pieces. I think like I'm really interested in that. Um, well, I was just thinking that the that part of the aggression is even in the process of making yeah, it. Like if you think it. about the aura of the piece, it's also in how the piece is made. My favorite city to create in, Dakar, uh, hands down. I love being in, in Salvador Bahia as well. Um, I love visiting Sao Paulo to get ideas. I love being in New York, I get inspiration. Uh, like I would think it would be hands, like hands down Dakar, maybe with New York. Dakar is like Brooklyn in the 80s or New York in the 80s. Like you can do many things. You can do lots of things because it's cheap to create. And that's what artists need. Oh my God, this is great. What is, how did you do that? With a drone. With a what? A drone, that was in Sangha. What? Like with the drone, I generally like, rather like rent it with operators because so i don't have like the my mind on, on, on that focus, and focus like i have somebody who knows how to use it that's all they do and then i tell them what i want you know a lot of people don't understand that you have you have to meet people on, on the way who are going to help you and I think that's what he's trying to do now. He's trying to pass everything he learned to uh, uh, you know, poor kids, different neighborhood, going all around the world. And I really admire that. Also with my uh, uh, association, what I do is a, a nonprofit. I, I initiate um, uh, young men and women, generally from urban neighborhoods, but not necessarily always. Um, do art, sometimes you could feel quite alone. Um, and, um, and yeah, I feel really empowered with art, with, with what I'm doing. Like, if you say the world is mine, that means the world is damn mine. <laughs> For real. To me, life is to see the world. That's like 
your life here on this earth is to see the world and to learn and to understand the world and to see how it is. So like I want to travel like everywhere, like you know, I want to understand it. So the world is mine, the world is yours. And um and I belong. You, I love you, come on now, let's do it You say that you love me and blame it on Cupid Do you think I'm stupid? I know what you're doing I slip like it's fluid And I leave you clueless 